Good morning, friends, and welcome to the beginning of a new month. It is July now, somehow, and as July rolls around, I've been thinking about moving um, this week. I have a very good friend who's in the process of getting ready to move to a new state. It's been making me think about my last big move, which was 17 years ago when we moved here to Kirksville, when my oldest was just a baby. Um, which means now that I've been here almost 17 years, this is the second longest I've lived just about anywhere. And as I was preparing for today, I picked up this book I've been reading through. I guess I haven't learned that yet. And her chapter was on moving in midlife. And she had some interesting things to say. Uh, she reflected that she had believed she would live in her hometown forever. Her family had deep roots there. All of her extended family was there. And she had had this picture that all of their family would do the same. And she wrote, we'd drive our roots down in that town so deep we'd be safe forever. Everything in life that we would experience or see, we would see from that vantage point, the center of the world. And I think especially sometimes in small towns, rural communities, that can happen. Um, families tend to stay in one place for a long time. And there's often not a huge amount of diversity, so many folks see things from a similar perspective from the same way. And she reflects a little bit on uh, that moving is one of those things that changes our perspective. And she writes, moving doesn't change who we are, even though sometimes we wish it would, but it does change <clears throat> our vantage point on the world. It swivels us around to see things in ways we've never seen them before. It shakes loose our assumptions and brings us back around to humility and curiosity as we learn a new world, a new rhythm and map and set of customs and agreements, and all that work is good work, keeping us adaptable and open. And so I've been thinking a little bit about, for those of us who aren't in the process of moving, um, how do our perspectives sometimes shift? What are those things that kind of put us in a, a place of being in between um, from the way we used to th see things to the way we may see things in the future? Because sometimes that change isn't all bad. Um, I'm filming down from one of our um, nursery rooms today, and this one happens to have a little tiny rocker, and then right beside it is a big rocker. And I think sometimes we sort of feel ourselves in that in-between place, like Reverend Jennifer talked about on Wednesday. We sometimes call that liminal, in-between space, where one thing doesn't quite fit anymore, and maybe the next one doesn't yet either. So we're sort of in-between. And that can happen for so many different reasons, even if we're not doing a physical move to a different place. It can happen because our circumstances have moved, our situations, our relationships have moved. Um, maybe it's simply some of our beliefs, the way we see things, the things with, that maybe we thought um, were true that wind up being true in a different way than we had imagined. Um, there are many, many things that can put us in this sort of in-between kind of space. And sometimes we need to purposely seek out ways to see the world in a new light, even if none of our circumstances have changed. And I wonder, ironically enough, if that's part of what joy does. The very next chapter of hers was talking about joy. And it made me think about how sometimes joy shifts our perspective. Sometimes there's not a whole lot that's different, but we see things in a different way. And Shauna wrote, One of my goals is to be a person who is easily delighted, who can find great cause for celebration in a fruit or a familiar face. Um, now, this one's appropriate for this 4th of July weekend, right? If you need fireworks and perfection in order to crack a smile, you're going to be disappointed over and over when life fails to be spectacular on command. 
And uh, that really resonated because sometimes we do, sometimes we get the 4th of July weekend, right? Where there's celebration and activities and lots of things that bring the comfort. I'm sure some of you have a very specific set of traditions around this holiday weekend. And it means certain things and it's disappointing when those can't happen or if celebrations have to happen in a different way. Um, there was one year on the 4th of July that we were celebrating with friends out in Arizona and we wound up up on a mountainside and we were actually looking down at the fireworks in the town in the valley below and they looked so different looking down on them rather than looking up. It was definitely a perspective shifting kind of thing. And so I think as we're going into not just this weekend but all of the things that may be ahead for us, that may challenge our perspective shifts. Maybe we can look for joy, not always in the big flashy spaces, but right in the very small here and now. And so as we go into these days ahead, where might you be able to pursue joy? to look at things from a different perspective right where you are. Now, you're not alone in that task. We know that joy is a fruit of the Holy Spirit that enables us to see with new eyes. And so I wanted to share this little piece. You are allowed to love tiny, daily, ordinary moments in your life. You're allowed to feel wild joy for the simplest and smallest of reasons. You're allowed to be unreasonably delighted by spicy pickles or a perfect apple or a joke someone tells you. You're allowed to feel joy for almost no reason. Maybe just when you walk by something that belonged to someone that you loved and just seeing it there makes you happy. You're allowed to hold memories in your mind and play them over and over like an old fashioned slideshow. Click, click, click. What is it that you love? that brings you joy. And so friends, as you go into these days ahead, whatever it is that your soul needs most to recharge, reset, be refilled, be restored by God, and maybe a change of perspective, some joy in the simplest of things, or the bright flashy wow of fireworks, whatever it is, may you find what you need in the most unexpected of places. Know that you are never alone and know that you are loved. Take care, friends, and I'll see you next week.